John Roland Ridge, the first Native American to publish their novel. This presentation was brought to you by Montserrat Ruiz, a student at Los Angeles City College, and this was created for the class of English 207 American Literature. John Ridge was a poet and a journalist that was born in 1827 in the Cherokee Nation, now known as Georgia. Being the son of John Ridge, a Cherokee leader, and a white woman named Sarah Bird Norsup, both John Ridge and his grandfather, Major Ridge, were important figures in his life because of their involvement in their, in their community and leadership. They even advocated for a non-violent removal of Native Americans being replaced from one land to another. But because we all know how history went down, the Indian Removal Act of 1830 was indeed violent, and in the end, Major Ridge and John Ridge were killed. What's also important to know is that after the killing of his paternal figures, the Trail of Tears commenced having thousands of Cherokee people forced to leave their land. Because of this act, hundreds of Cherokees died due to the harsh conditions and long journey to their new designated land, as the act was not just forceful, but violent. Ridge, on the other hand, moved to Arkansas with his mother to pursue an education and to develop his writing. After becoming of age and forming his own family, he then witnessed the gold rush of California happen as many found riches moving there, and so he decided to follow along. Later in his life, he would confront David Kells, who in the past, his allies, had worked together to kill his father and grandfather, and now was at the moment killed John Ridge's prized stallion. Ridge took it upon himself to kill him. However, because he knew he would not receive a fair trial, he fled with his family. Some context to note is that during the gold rush, many fled to California hoping to strike rich in gold, which just so happened to include John Ridge moving there with his family for similar reasons. While Ridge did find California to be a safe a state with the American ideals of progression and opportunity, he was not blind to the mistreatment of colored Americans when they would seek out mining work or educational opportunities. After witnessing the racism towards African Americans, Asian Americans, and Mexican Americans, he was inspired to create a story to reflect his beliefs on the current matter. How a land so diverse was also a land that had its inhabitants of color suffer the most and have less equal opportunities than their white counterparts. To summarize, after the social unrest of Mexican bandits committing crimes due to the mining tax, rumors spread of a man named Joaquin who would kill any men that were in his way, causing fear for people hearing these rumors. John Rowland Ridge's most important work was that of his novel, the Life Adventures of Joaquin Murieta, after capitalizing on the hysteria caused by the rumors. The story revolves around the character of the Mexican bandit named Joaquin Murieta, who after moving to California was a right mindset and expectation of what life could be during the gold rush. Similar to the author, yet different, Joaquin left his country to pursue a different life after being dissatisfied with the way things were going. After experiencing firsthand racism, he vowed to take revenge on those who had done him wrong, especially those that hurt his family. As quoted in the text, the country was then full of lawless and desperate man, men who bore the name of Americans but failed to support the honor and dignity of that title. A feeling was prevalent among this class of contempt for any and all of Mexicans, whom they looked upon as no better than conquered subjects of the United States, having no rights which could stand before a haughty and superior rage. As quoted by Rich, 
The story was so popular at the time that it was often mistaken to be a real account of stories happening due to its publication and coincidences. The story not only showcases the talent of an individual during this harsh period of American history, but it also represents the first public sto published story from a Native American. The ideologies that are present in the story also resembles the ideologies many Americans had in the 1800s. The wanting for something new in a place where they could have a sense of belonging and success. Leaving stories such as these allow us modern day readers to understand the social context that was happening in the 1800s, and to learn about the personalities people of color had during those days, because it was not as common before as it is now. It is important that this topic of mass moving Native Americans and the harsh realities of relocation and often the harsh treatments people of color faced during the 1800s they should definitely continue to be taught in today's classes. Because if we do not teach them, we can't learn from our past mistakes. It is important to remember that these were events that actually did happen in American history. They are important aspects of American history that need to be learned about in order to avoid the same mistake from happening again. To finish off, the works of poets such as John Ridge help to shape modern literature as we know it, allowing us to almost time travel and feel his emotions as he lived in the early stages of our modern country. That concludes my presentation and thank you very much for listening.